Hi, in this video we're going to take a look how to insert and configure Virus AG plugin in Mozu Digital Performer. But before we go into the details of Digital Performer, uh, I would encourage you to go to the Virus AG product page and check out the Tutorials tab and make sure you've got the appropriate version of the plugin in use and also that you've done MIDI setup for the uh, DAW which you're using or actually the OS and lastly make sure to configure your virus uh, ready for the virus AG plugin okay before we go into the details of digital performer I would like to point out that I'm a Logic Pro user and this DAW is quite unknown for me so here is what I've done in order to make this work. Um, go to bundles and make sure that you've got all of your inputs set up so that they are ready for the for the virus. And I've got um, read at sum coming in here, which is uh, summarized output from my slave Mac, which is doing a bit of uh, ADDA as well. So here is my virus TI and here is the summarized input from the RADAT. Next outputs and in the instruments I've got nothing and in MIDI devices. So in here I can see I've got a virus C desktop and virus TI desktop and I actually want to take out the MIDI inputs from these devices so that MIDI out is only active. The reason is um, simply because I don't want to get the MIDI input stream from the virus coming into the DAW. I just want it to come into the plugin so it won't do double processing. Next up, I'm going to add stereo tracks. Actually, I'm going to create several of those. Let's create three pairs and I'm going to choose the inputs accordingly from the virus. So I've got one and two, three and four, five and six coming in from the virus. Next up, I'm going to enable the monitoring option. And next, I'm going to insert the virus AG plugin. Like so. Okay, next up, go to multi settings, choose the model, which is TI in my case, exit multi settings, and choose the MIDI in and MIDI out from this window. Uh, not sure why it's displaying this. Uh, probably it has disconnected the MIDI from my, yeah, it has disconnected the MIDI from here. So, just gonna drop those back in and I'm gonna choose the MIDI out 11. Okay the plugin is saying it's ready to go so there's two options you can start from scratch and just double clicking these patches uh, you can choose uh, which patch you've got for each part but in this case I'm just gonna synchronized data from the hardware. So it's going to get everything what I've got in my virus TI at the moment into the plugin GUI and I'll, I can demonstrate some of the batches and tracks how they are being sorted in a digital performer. Okay, data request completed. So as I can see, there's different patches for each part and also make sure that the outputs are routed. Okay. And in order to create sequences, I would encourage you to insert MIDI tracks. So instead of doing uh, the sequencing on an instrument channel, we need to add MIDI tracks and I'm going to add four actually five MIDI tracks and I'm going to put these to go into the virus TI 
directly instead of doing it so that it goes into the plugin. This makes it work a lot smoother and there's also no delay or it applies the DAW delay compensation into these MIDI tracks. So if I start to play from here, we can see the input coming in and if I move on to the next track, I should be hearing whatever is chosen in channel 2. There's the bass sound, then I've got a kind of a spooky pad. And on a channel 4 I've got a lead. And on the channel 5 we've got a distorted lead. Okay, so that's it. Now if you save your project, all of the data will this data will be stored within the project and when you reopen your project it will send the data automatically to your virus. So that's how you sort out the channels and routings of uh, MIDI and so on. Okay, in the next video we're going to take a look how to uh, use the librarian functions within Logic Pro X because that's my main DAW and it's a lot easier for me to do things in there. Um, in terms of automation, um, you can do automation in DAW. I'm not just quite sure how to do it here in a digital performer. But let's say we want to take um, filter cutoff for the part four. Just a second to find it. It's somewhere in here. There's a lot of parameters. So there's a number before the parameter name this in indicating which part we're talking about. So let's take that one. And not sure how to display the automation lane. Like I said, it's very much unknown DAW for me. But um, you know where to get the automation lanes showing up, etc. So you can do it by yourself. All right, thank you. See you soon. Bye.